Coming up on Around Kern County, the Kern County Fire Department is working to recruit women. We're giving you a look at their latest training event for female firefighters. And now that summer is here, we're wanting to keep you safe around water. We're sharing important information about the Kern River when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Kern County Fire Department is continuing to successfully recruit potential firefighters that are female. Over the weekend, KCFD held Inspiring Women Through Opportunities, a one-day training camp event designed to show women they too can be firefighters. This is part of KCFD's recruitment assistance program they started back in 2020 to ensure their department mirrors Kern County communities. KCFD especially emphasizes the value of local recruits who want to stay here and serve where they grew up. This weekend's training event helped local women get a taste of this profession and see that a career at KCFD is possible. From trying on turnouts to executing drills, many of these female participants were inspired to pursue firefighting. One attendee said, when I walked up in the morning, I had never seen a woman in a firefighter's uniform. Then I got to talk to her, hear her story, and watch her in action. She is truly my hero, and I am definitely going to pursue this as a career. Just this week, KCFD made history by starting their largest recruit academy to date of 48 people. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments, Kern County Fire. The 2022 California statewide primary election took place this week. Polls opened on Tuesday, June 7th at 7 a.m. and closed at 8 p.m. Voters from around the county headed out to their designated polling sites to make their voices heard. And many Kern County employees served as poll workers, dedicating their time to assisting our elections office with helping people who chose to vote in person. Hundreds of thousands of Kern County residents participated in this year's primary, casting their votes either by mail or voting at the polls on election day. If you would like to view this year's election results, please visit kernvote.com. Kern County is being celebrated for its Use of CARES Act funding, which was awarded to state, local, and tribal governments by the U.S. Treasury Department to help communities recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Supervisor David Couch announced at our most recent board meeting that Kern County received a Legislative Leadership Award from the California Association of Recreation and Park Districts for our use of this funding. It is because, if you recall, when we got our CARES Act allocation, we are the only county in California that decided to um, share that or allocate some of that to special districts. Um, no one else did that. If you would like to know more about Kern County's recovery plan, you can find that on our website at kerncounty.com. Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services is working to get our youth involved in public service. Right now, they're recruiting a younger volunteer to be a voice for their community by joining the Kern BHRS board as a youth member. This opportunity will provide a selected volunteer with the chance to shape our county's behavioral health services and leave a lasting impact on our community. Mental health affects everybody across the spectrum, age, race, religion, everything. So we want somebody who can represent the youth and come and speak on the board. We're really just looking for somebody who's gonna be a strong advocate, come in, take the seat, and really be a strong voice and understand what a person with mental health issues is going through and how we can make the system better for them. The ideal candidate is 16 to 25 years old and has some level of experience with mental health. To view more information about this program, please visit kernbhrs.org and to apply, please email info at kernbhrs.org. 
As we enjoy these warm summer months, we're ending today with some safety tips about the Kern River, brought to you by the Kern River Conservancy and other community partners. Whenever you and your family are around water that's deep or moving, it's a good idea to wear a life jacket, even if you're a good swimmer. When visiting the river, always watch your kids. Slippery rocks can cause them to fall in and be swept away. If you fall in the river, try to avoid big waves and rapids. Stay away from trees, branches, and other obstacles that will hold you in place. Cold water from snowpack runoff and high flows make the Kern River very unforgiving. Oftentimes in search and rescue situations, it's being able to make sound decisions that makes the difference between life and death. When we consume alcohol and drugs, it impairs our ability to make those sound decisions, and it turns a situation like this into something deadly. River flow can increase dramatically with changing water patterns causing shorelines to swell. Always stay on established trails and never camp within 25 feet of the water's edge. The Kern River is one of California's premier whitewater destinations. We suggest you experience the Kern River with a trained guide and check whitewater rafting off of your bucket list. Remember, just wear it on the Kern River. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.